What would you get if you get a C70 and the R5 and have a head-on collision? Well, you'd probably get two smash-up cameras, but if you use your imagination, you'd get this thing right here, the R5C. Oh yes. A bit late for Christmas, but you could always return some stuff to free up some cash for this. Now I know what you're thinking, you're probably thinking, oh, it's a sponsored video, you've got a load of Canon kit on your tabletop there. We'll just put a load of Canon kit here. Because we can. But anyway, this thing right here, it's oh so exciting. Not the monitor, let's take that right off. And not the lens, although that is very nice. Oh, very tasty. But what makes this a cine camera? Well, a red button, a big bulge on the back, which lets hot air out. And then if you check the dial right on the top here, it's got photo mode and a video mode. Yep, so that's the dial. This has no identity crisis, whether it's more video or photo centric. It's just got a split personality. It's got both of them, video and photo. And it supposedly does both of them well. However, when you switch between the two, there's about an eight second delay. Video mode. Okay, switch it over to photo mode. One potato, two potato, three potato, four potato, five potato, six potato, seven potato, eight potato, eight potatoes, eight potatoes, yay, there we go, and it's out of focus. Let's go. <laughs> How did it do that? That's amazing. Right, without further delay, let's go out and film this. Let's go. Oh, let me set up first. One thing this doesn't have is built in NDs. So, got one on the front. Add on ND. If you're using EF lenses with this, you could always get the ND filter RFEF adapter. The lack of internal NDs doesn't make it any less of a cine camera. We've got to get a lunch stand. That's the most important thing. And that man and his dog. There we are. So as I mentioned before, it has got the two menus. It's got the video and photos. So when you change from photo to video, it's a completely different menu system. And some things are different as well, like the, the autofocus. Of course, you've got dual pixel face detection autofocus with photos. You've got all that eye, bird, animal, vehicle, eye, AF in the photo mode. But when you switch it to video mode, it's more like the cine camera. So you've got the face priority and the eye AF. But you don't have like vehicle AF. Where are we heading? Where, where, where should we get lunch? Let's, let's. Let's move, move and, you know. This cam is fantastic news. Well, not for everyone. If anybody's bought the R5 for video, oh, you're gonna be gutted. This is a camera you need. I mean, for vlogging, this is, this is perfect. It's got, it's got everything for vlogging. Right. Yeah, so you could use this as a vlogging camera. C70, not really ideal for vlogging because that is heavy. It's brick-like. A couple of bricks in your hands. But we're not going to use it for vlogging. Not today. No, no. You totally can if you want. It's got the flippy screen and Canon say it's the smallest, lightest cine camera, which is nice. But R5C packs a lot more than just your typical self-face shooting cam. I mean, it's crazy. It's only just a couple of years ago. People with the internet were saying Canon this, Canon that. Oh no, not again. Overheating this, overheating that. Oh, here we go. Who would have thought? What a big surprise. I mean, if you want to take mostly video, I think this is a camera for you. I say mostly video, even though it does take photos because it takes a little bit of time to switch between video and photos. I mean, that's probably because, well, I don't know why, but it's got two different menu systems. So you have to switch from that photo menu system to video menu, whole different interface. Even the buttons, they operate differently. Like the menu system for photos, uh, the menu button is over here. And then for video, Cine, the menu button's there. If you press that button, the menu button here, in photo mode, that just goes to the quick menu. Of course, they've got gray and white, so you just remember which one's which. But it can be a bit confusing at first when you, you look at all the information. There's a lot of information because the buttons are signed for different things for photo and video mode. You suddenly look at the camera and you're like, oh no, what do I have to press? I'm just going at the speed of light because we don't have much time. 
You know what day it is today? It's Tuesday. And this is going out tomorrow. So the good thing is, there's no worry about me releasing it today. Because <laughs> it won't be edited in time. I'm saying today as in yesterday, as you're watching this. So with the menu system in cine mode, you've got, well, all the cine things you need really. You've got false collar, LUTs. It's basically just like a C70 which I have got, I bought that recently. Starting to think whether I should have just waited, but you never know, do you? Because this seems more useful for a YouTube person. The form factor is certainly going to make this an appealing filmmaker's camera. Oh, look at this. We've got loads of cameras here. Just for size comparison, that's the R5C, that's next to the A7S III. It's just that bit on the back of the R5C. That bulk on the back there just adds extra thickness. And even with that bulk on the back, despite being a bit chunkier, it doesn't really feel too much heavier. Obviously it is quite a bit smaller than the C70. Quite a bit chunkier, the C70. is a big boy. A bum load lighter. It's officially one bum load lighter. Holy cow, that's a lot of holes there. And although it looks a bit scary at first, if you're coming from their photo cameras, it's actually quite simple. Simpler than, I shall not name them. Oh, 14, what? <laughs> the battery, battery life has gone down quite a bit. I must add that it takes the LPE6 battery, so that is why it's probably gonna get sapped pretty quickly. I think they quote around 40 minutes of time. Oh. Uh, Dan's just asked me to pop it out. Battery that is, nothing else get arrested, I was. You could get the R5 battery grip, but definitely stock up on batteries. I mean, it's a great battery. It brings back lots of memories of putting into 5D Mark IV, three, two, all of that, and the other cameras that use the LP6. But it's pro probably not gonna power all of this, is it? 8K-ness. It does have 8K, just like the R5. I mean, basically it is more or less an R, it's called an R5C. So no surprise, it's pretty much an R5. With a fan on the back, more video orientated. But, you know, the Blackmagic uses the LPE6, doesn't it? And that lasts about two seconds before it conks out. So hopefully it lasts a bit longer with this. Hopefully there's some kind of magic, Canon magic, not black magic. Canon Magic. I can safely say it lasts longer than Blackmagic's pocket cine camera, which is all right considering it's powering a big fan and a big sensor. But whatever, the video looks very, very nice. I'm sure why is the focus not working? Let me see. Are you that camera guy? I'm that camera guy. So many of your, I've watched so many of your videos. You're amazing. Anyway. Oh, thank you. No, no, no problem. I'm like, oh, there's the guy filming guy from camera. I hope that doesn't mean crazy. He's watched so many of my videos, but doesn't know my name. That camera guy. That should be my channel name. Yeah, I don't know why it's not, it's on MF. So most of that's probably out of focus back there. Artie. Well, the video looks very, very nice for out of focus video. So with a fan, we've got the heat tech inside. They've got the heat tech in there. They've got the heat tech in here. Saw out the heat. In other words, it doesn't overheat. Cut to the chase. Yeah, I mean, just gonna have to take the word for it. But they said it can just, you can just keep filming on and on and on. Of course, the battery doesn't go on and on and on, but it's got USB-C, so you can power it by USB-C. Okay, oh, it's Ikea man. Ikea man. <laughs> Where's my furniture? I've been waiting. Yeah, my, my furniture. What's your name? Yeah, Peda Lee. Oh, you can call me Lance. Okay, Lance. Yeah. Right. I'm going to call Ikea and complain. <laughs> yeah, Ikea. Yeah, hi, guys. Let me put the face priority on. Priority? Oh, it's face priority. It's on. Okay. One thing is this, unlike the R5, this doesn't have built-in stabilization. Not of the mechanical kind. Oh, it's a R6? This is, I can't tell you. I'm going to have to oh, kill you okay. on the pavement. But this 
has got electronic stabilization. Let's try that out actually. Thank you for being our model, by the way. The reason why, well, they told me that this doesn't have mechanical IS because apparently electronic IS is getting better, especially for moving around. They said that mechanical IS just can't cope as well. For things like, you know, Panning. For electronic IS, it looks good. Some electronic stabilization can't cope with certain movements and overcompensates in the most unnatural way. I think it looks quite smooth in a reasonably natural way here. That looks all right. That looks all right. You're testing the focus. Uh, I'm testing the IS. Let me try the panning. Another thing worth noting is that rolling shutter is really quite reasonable for 4K full frame video. I haven't got the R5 to compare it to, but one would assume that it should be the same. But of course, I've got lens IS on as well. Let me switch that off. And try that again. A little bit wobblier. Let me try moving, moving forwards. As you can see, the electronic IS on the standard setting won't make a non IS lens really smooth for panning and walking shots. Although generally, I think it looks fine. There is a higher setting for electronic IS, but it takes the crop from 10% for standard up to around 40%. Oh, you can see that's quite a bit more cropped in. Is your face 8K ready? Yeah, yeah it's alright. Okay, that's 8K, Lance and full 8KO vision. So it's oversampled, but not above 50, 60p. Lance, it's been great. Don't forget my furniture. Okay. Always I'll call up your boss. Okay. And you'll Bye. be fired. <laughs> All right. See you later. See you later. Bye. Bye. The I IAF is working. IAF is mask ready, yes. Well. That's one way of keeping your arms warm. So like the R5, it does shoot raw. It does it internally, which is nice. Raw is good. Unless it's raw chicken, obviously. That's not good. Salmonella. I mean, with raw, you can just chuck in anything. Not anything. You can't put in Microsoft Word. We've got raw light, raw ST. It's got C-Log 2, C-Log 3. And a dual. Dual ISO, dual, no, dual base ISO, 800 and 3200. Now having looked at it, having compared it, I did compare it to the C70. It does look better. It does look better for low, low light stuff. Less noise, a bit, little bit crisp with the details. Dynamic range, does look a little bit less, but the C-Log3, you get 14 stops of dynamic range with two 15 stops. As I said before, the only thing is if you plan to switch between video mode and photo mode a lot, then it does take a little bit of time. Because if you want to do time lapse, that's in a photo mode. But uh, we don't need to look at the photo mode because that is pretty much R5. The interesting bit is the cine mode video mode. Well that and we've run out of time so it is a good time, no choice, to wrap up this first look at Canon's properly hybrid photo slash cine cam. The two modes properly segregated, selected by the switch, separated by a slight delay. The photo mode can't take video, video mode can't take stills but I don't think that will bother many. It might take 40 megapixel stills with a 20 fps electronic and 12 fps mechanical burst but I think of this more of a cine camera. The stills mode is just a nice bonus. However, I still really want to take a full in-depth look at this camera, try out the multifunction accessory shoe that works with the Tascam XLR module and the anamorphic. Although the C70 still serves a purpose, it's got better battery life, it's got built-in NDs, I think the R5C is definitely going to be a winning formula for a lot of startup filmmakers. DIY. Bokeh. Bokeh, look at that bokeh. Bokeh overload. Is that bokeh okay, Dan? Okay or not okay? Okay. All right, it's not bokeh in a minute, so it's not okay. Let's switch off for now. I'll treat you. Oh, that's sweet. Salt beef, mustard and, mustard and pickles. Yeah, mustard uh, One of them with both. Here we go. It's not Chinese though. He had the food on the camp. Is he going to eat food on it? No. There's no food. Is there food on the monitor? No. All right, you've done well today. I'm not a clumsy man. Hang on. You covered the live stream. <laughs> <laughs> That's in the next episode. They don't know that yet.
latest model bag which you can get. So it's part of the Billingham range, it's called the Billingham. This is to hold balance. Look. Perfectly balanced. It's my steady cam. Man, that bagel. Sublime.